Okay. Oh, mostly here. Just let me um, mute everybody. Yeah, so transitions are actually really useful. We'll have a look at transitions and then hopefully what would be nice is just very gently covering the bent armed punches as well. We'll be covering those. So just sink the hips back and down and lengthen through the spine and just take some slow, gentle and deep breaths. Oh, it's fine though, she's got it. She's, uh, she's arrived. <laughs> she's just arrived. No, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. I did send her the link earlier on her email, but, um, So just very gently breathe in and out. Okay, so what you want to do, everybody, is make sure your knees stay relatively still. So we'll, we'll spend a bit of time loosening, I think, today, just, just to uh, focus on loosening in some of those basics. And... Not an hour. No. <laughs> and also it'd be quite good to do a couple of new ones. Yeah. Uh, those new ones that I'm working on, and um, I'll see if there's anything from Saturday I can pass on. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so we'll just do some basic qigong thing today. So just have your arms lengthened, your wrists relaxed, your elbows relaxed. Shoulders relaxed, breathing in and out. So make sure your knees are in line with the toes. Breathing in and out. Tall through the body. So feel the head floating and the hips sinking back and down. That's it. And then hopefully when you've warmed up, you'll be able to get your jacket and that off. So, yeah, your work colleagues are very welcome to come on the Wednesday yeah. if you wanted to make it a work yeah. thing. <laughs> and then just maybe stick a pot out or yeah. something. And then we'll do that and then bring it when you next see me. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, it's as long. The only thing is, if you are in the office doing the tai chi, they have to have enough arm room. Yeah. yeah. Um, Otherwise, it's a bit bonkers. Yeah, it'd be a bit uncomfortable. Is your office close by to the hall, or? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good job. We've got Zoom then. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. We used to do yoga at lunchtime. Oh. Okay. So we were used to sort of finding space, but it's just well, nobody, you could nobody do... goes in anymore, but when they all go in, they all go in, blokes as well. That's well, um, yeah. I mean, if you'd like, I, I could draft an email and send you a, mm. an email and say, look, this is the, mm. the link in. for the come and join in from your office. So it's, it's yeah. only an hour. Yeah. And they don't have to stay for the full hour, they could just stay for a bit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the more the merrier, really. <laughs> so just relax the shoulders, relax the shoulders, relax the wrists, relax the hands, and you'll, you'll turn the waist. So if I just show you that from the, uh, I'll show you from the side view and the back view, you're, you're kind of trying to keep it contained. Um, oh, and I've had an update. For those of you that do my take off as fruit, or my take off as fruit, which is very exciting, they've made it a lot more subtle. <laughs> and I was like, oh no! So that was, uh, I've not seen Corella never for a good long time. I, mean, I may, may, might have seen them once, mm. once or twice in 2021. Mm. I've seen them on Face uh, Zoom. Yeah. I've seen yeah. them on Zoom because I go to the Zoom class on the Tuesday. Them. I'm going to try and go Tuesday morning as well as Wednesday mornings because I've managed Wednesday mornings mm. and that seems to be working out quite good. And it's half an hour's class yeah. and it's fantastic, completely free, yeah. completely 
free and they, uh, they're very happy for my students to come and join in. Because um, I thought, well, if I'm going to this class at half past eight in the morning, I might as well invite people I'm teaching, because this is my teacher, or one of my teachers, I've got a few actually, uh, but this is one of my main teachers. And she's fantastic, so... Um, and she's up for maybe coming over, possibly to this hall, or Reach Hall, I'm still trying to work out dates and things, it probably won't be till the autumn, yeah. or maybe the summer. Um, she does this thing called Animal Cheap Bomb, and it's really nice. It's really nice. So we can do a couple of the movements from the Bud One Gin. So we can yeah. do bend the bow and yeah. shoot the arrow because it's a good one for strengthening. Yeah. Uh, and then maybe the bear because that's a good one for the back. Yeah. And also for confusing the brain. So yeah. we'll we'll do some of the. Well, yeah. How are we getting on? That's much better. That's really good. Okay, now we open and then we've um, for those of you that have just arrived, we're looking at transitions. Transition. So what we'll do is we'll do a small section. Um, of the form. <laughs> and look at it. Lots. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> Open that. That's it. Nice and relaxed. So you want to you want to watch it. So when you turn, when you turn, this knee is still in line with the toes. You want to make sure, so it, it looks like it's not, but it is, because I'm rotating out with my hips, uh, my, uh, the hip joint. I'm rotating out with a, in that, that hip joint. Okay, let's do bounce and shake. Oh, bounce, that's it. We did a lot of bounce and a lot of shake, actually, on, on Saturday morning. I just spent the morning with them, the 10.30 till 1.30, then stopped for a bit of lunch, a cup of tea. They got very, they had the proper Chinese tea, so it's worth going to Reading just for the tea. Um, and we trained outside. Ooh. No, it was fine, we were wrapped up. It was very, very, very good. Very good, so... Um, yeah, did some basics, did a bit of punching, um, had nice tea, it was good. good. So I'm hoping to see them definitely a couple of times a week on Zoom and then I'm going to try and see them maybe once or twice a month would be good. Because there's a few things I want to cover this year. So you just want to relax your lower back. Lower back. Now this bit, think of this as, as always going that way and that way. So, and you want to make sure your chin <coughs> is correctly tucked in. So I've been uh, following, there's this very old um, boxing instructor uh, online, and he's very, he says very practical, sensible things. He was talking about the chin mm. being tucked in. Very good, very good movement, actually. It's really, really nice. So, you want to feel the whole of the body is connected, or connect, you want to connect all the way. And um, yeah, the trick with the transitions in the Tai Chi form, footwork, knowing if it's sinking the hips. Four, three, two, one, and shake. So we did a lot of shaking on, on um, Saturday, uh, basically she just said you've got to really, really relax. Really relax when you're doing the shaking. And, and Eva's been doing shaking every day. She's really got into it for some reason. I, um, I can understand why, because it, it feels really good. You know, for example, you might be waiting <laughs> to see the nurse at the doctor's surgery and, and there's no magazines anymore in the no. waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> so all out to go. You've got nothing to do. You might as well do some Tai Chi. You can do your shaking and it'd be brilliant. You could get, so get the whole of the waiting room to do it. Um, you know, need a little session. And then we go, yeah, I've got to make an appointment because I've changed surgeries and then I've got this letter. Stretch up, nice stretch up, that's it. So with a stretch up, you, you're still and you're just feeling the stretch and then you let go and let the arms do that, exactly. But what you've got to do is make sure you've took your keys out, 
<laughs> You've took your uh, change out, loose change, no loose change in pockets. No keys in it, because that would really hurt. <laughs> so don't do that. So you want to, no, nothing in your pockets. It's a hanky, hanky's okay, that won't hurt you. <clears throat> so we just, we just, actually I'll show from the side. So look, I'm just doing this. And you want to relax, you want to relax. And don't be too bothered about what it looks like. Don't get too self-conscious or nothing, because eventually you'll be, it will be like feeling it in the whole of the body and it will feel really nice. And it's a bit like when a dog comes out of water and psh, sprays you. Yeah, some dogs get really, they love water, don't they? Some of them, some of them hate it. Some of them hate water, but the ones that love the water, they'll jump in and they'll come out and they'll spray everybody. Mm. <laughs> you're a dog person, aren't you? You're not a dog person. I, I just like animals, I'm a, I'm a person. So. You're saying on the radio today that dog owners should be brushing their dog's teeth oh. every day. Ooh. Okay. But, when I have my dog, there's no way I was putting my fingers anywhere near the You might have, it might have bit, if it might have got an extra snap if you try and clean the dog's yeah. teeth. Yeah. Well, that seems very sensible though. They get a lot of teeth problems with dogs. And then we just do that. No, it's, if it's an animal, I usually like it. Yeah. So I just, I don't, I don't really, I just like any, any, anything. <laughs> I like all of them. Yeah, we get, we get animals sometimes come into the care home, mm. the uh, what oh, they call cool. therapy animals. Yes. Oh, they're oh, brilliant, they are. Oh. Yeah, really nice. I used to like going into town with Snowy Farm. Oh, yeah, he was he's, awesome. He's dead. He's yeah, 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 I've seen that. His rabbits and his mice. Cats and yeah, there we go. So that's, so that's a bit better, isn't it? Very good. Okay, so the, the punching is very useful uh, for things like when you're doing the more tricky silk weaving um, uh, things. It's also very good for for punching that. Um, th there's, a, there's a very good exercise that uh, Barry does where you, you shake and fling your arms up like boom, 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 boom. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go away and practice that one because I've lost... <laughs> I've lost my mojo on that one, so uh, <laughs> any questions on bounce and shape? No. No? Okay, important points, planting your feet. So you want good contact and connection with the ground and the hips sinking back and down. So the, you're in the front third of the foot, front third of the foot and then you sink your hips and then it kind of slots into the right spot in the foot which is just behind the ball of each foot. I find if I start with the front third and then sink, <clears throat> it seems to work better than if I just try and put my weight straight away just behind the ball of each foot. At the moment, I mean, it, you know, whatever works, do that. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do that. And then only slightly bent, and you wanna relax the shoulders. That's very good. And then you come down, and then you come. We'll just do this in slow motion, and then we'll get on with it. Oh. So I don't want to. Might have to finish a shade early, because I have got to be somewhere else. <laughs> Are you singing? Tonight? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. So I sung last night and Friday. And I'm doing it again. <laughs> so I'm a bit late. Yeah. No, and on That's my bad, man. Oh, and on Sunday, <laughs> and next Thursday, and Saturday. I think. Oh wow! Okay. Because we'll be worn out. No, no, no. Just relax. <laughs> Just relax. <laughs> so we're going to there. So, oh, what you want to do? Actually, let's just do one. So just reach, reach out with your hands. So imagine you're like Spider-Man or person, Spider-Person, and you're shooting webs out with okay. your fingers, or water or something like that, and you want to open, you want to open and keep that firmness and that mild curve in the arm, so you're not bending. You want to keep the integrity, keep the structural integrity along the arm. So we'll try, we'll try one and just 
That's it. And then seven and eight. Now try try eight on the other side, just to find. And when you're doing it with one arm, there's a turn. There's going to be a turn because just basically because you're attached, really. So you want to keep a keep a slight mild curve, not not hugely bent. Okay. Now try, and then they cancel each other out. So it's more like an aeroplane than a bend. So try and avoid bending your arms, avoid bending your arm, try and keep it more like an aeroplane, just for now. You, you wouldn't want to be in an aeroplane with wings that went like that. So you want to be, yeah. Use your picture, that's it, to get it right each time. Just for, just for a thing to do and to focus on. It's quite tricky, isn't it? Three, two and one. Okay, now this time we're just going to turn the palms up, but again, have a, as, as small a bend as possible. You still want a bit of a bend, but you don't want a huge bend. That's better, that. yeah. But use your, use your legs. Use your legs, straight from the back. There we go. Four, three, two, and one, and change. There we go. Transferring the weight. So knowing whether you're using the open, um, open side or closed side, So we're using the outside turning, outside turning as opposed to inside turning. So if you're in your left leg, you turn to the right corner. If you're in your right leg, you turn to the left corner, outside turn. So remember, you're keeping that open feeling and that stretch in the arms. Keep the stretch in the arms. We're practicing this. Movement, think aeroplane, 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 crashing aeroplane, aeroplane. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's a better one. Just for that, I mean, the other way is perfectly valid as well. We're just not doing it today, that's all. It's not. Fantastic. Great. Okay. Posture check. Oh, I will just do some of these. I'll go a little bit further back actually because um, we need some arm room for this. <laughs> There's this new exercise I've been working on Ooh. and it's very good for the brain oh, no. and it's very good for the arms. <laughs> yeah, we'll give it a bash. We, I found a way into it. I found a way into it. <laughs> a bit and then we can get a bit more arm thing going on um, yeah oh why isn't that working there we go so we're, we're um we are so we're going like this down up down up down up down up so use your legs to move your arms, use your legs to move your arms. 
Okay, right, and then watch. I'll show from the diagonal. So we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you go to here, you go back the way you came, you go to here, you go back the way you came from the side, it's like this. So this is one I sometimes do with my E students, just to kind of, you know. And one more. Marvellous. Very good. So um, luckily this has been recorded. <laughs> So you can have a look. Yeah, so you go one way there. If I do it in slow mo, and you want to relax, really relax. So you turn, 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 come up to the middle, go back the way you came, then you go the other way, come up to the middle, go back the way you came. Simples. You just do it a little bit with a, with a bounce, with a bounce in the, in the knees, in your legs, a bounce in the legs. Try, try it out for fun. Let's do it slow-mo first. Let's start here. So you start by sinking the hips and turning the waist. Sink the hips and turn the waist. Okay, turn to the other direction. Stop at the middle. Go back the way you came, then you go in the other direction. Stop in the middle, go back the way you came. And you can really relax, relax, sink the shoulders, sink the shoulders, nice and relax. Very good. Okay, that, that'll do. That's ish, yeah. <laughs> the best, best thing to do is to go in the, in the class when I stick it up there on. The YouTube channel and just have a little look and just take the time to work out what's going on. Right, next. So this is a bit of fun. It's good to do stuff that works the brain. Very good to do stuff that works the brain. So this is kind of vaguely linked in with number three. So what we're going to do just for now is we're going to do horizontal and vertical. Horizontal and vertical, that's it. Horizontal and vertical. So, horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. So, no, now feel what horizontal feels like in your body. Notice that sensation of feeling. Now feel vertical. <clears throat> Notice that sensation of feeling. So relax both shoulders. Point the fingers. Now horizontal again. Feel that sensation and then vertical. Okay, so this is loosely related to loosely number three. So, okay, now watch. Horizontal. Vertical, horizontal. Vertical, horizontal. Vertical, horizontal. Vertical, horizontal. I heard the words. Excellent. <laughs> so let's let's do a little bit more. Yeah. So the other way into it is corners, sides. Corners, front, corner, side. Actually, let's do that. Right. Just so we're, we're, we're practicing a thing called kinesthetic awareness. Right. Kinesthetic awareness. So that's knowing, being able to feel where your arms and legs are in relation to yourself. 
I mean, it's more than that, but that will do. That being able to feel your legs and arms and where they are and what they're doing and where they're in relation to you know direction and thing. That is an example is kinesthetic, kinesthetic using the kinesthetic senses. So we have the front, we have the corners, we have the sides, we have the corners, we have the front. There we are. Brilliant. It's like the aeroplanes, mm -hmm. you know, you've got the exits that way and you put the mask on and all that. So now what we do is, um, would it help if I was facing... I don't think it would make no difference if I'm facing front. I think it'd be easier if I reverse. Okay, maybe if everybody points that ball, that's going to be. You'll just have to wing it because obviously the zoomies will be able to see me better all the way around. You'll just have to. So what we'll do? We we'll go that that way first. So we start front, horizontal. Now we turn to the corner, so where the clock is. Vertical. Now we turn a little bit more to the sides, horizontal. Now we turn back to the corner, vertical. Now we turn to the front, horizontal. Now we turn to the corner, vertical. Turn to the side, horizontal. Turn to the corner, vertical. Turn to the front. So your hands are either horizontal or vertical. But the, the, the horizontal is tricky when you're doing that one. That's mm -hmm. quite tricky. And you want to sink your hips. Mm -hmm. And then you go like that. Vertical, horizontal. Vertical, horizontal. Vertical, horizontal. And then what you do, once you've got that, and we've practiced it enough, you can speed it up a bit. Let me just let me just demonstrate. You can you can do that. So you you I haven't quite got it yet, I'm still working on it, but apparently you can and your arms end up looking like windmills. And it's it's quite a good one. So it's, it just gets your arms nice and loose. Let's let's do uh, <laughs> we'll keep working on that one. It's we're wobbling now, yeah. It's a really good one for um, the brain, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think I'll leave my brain now on a Monday afternoon. Yeah. And it will keep you know. It will give you something else to do when you're in the waiting room. That's it. Yeah. And then you just keep doing it until you can do it super fast. So when the guy that uh, demonstrated it, it was like his arms were a blur. <laughs> and he'd not speeded up the film. Yeah. He'd yeah. just done it really, really, really fast. So he couldn't see. All you saw with this, because he wears a big white suit, all you saw was his big white, uh, mm -hmm. white traditional clothes. You just <laughs> so saw a, a blur of white and you couldn't tell. So I... I um... Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's like, um, okay, let's just sing forward and back. But um, Eva's very, uh, really into doing anything that works both sides of the brain. Mm -hmm. So she, she's been doing that one where you do the uh, inside and outside tap of the ankles. Um, she's been doing that one as well. Um, so you get you get these fashions developing in Tai Chi instruction. Hey, check this exercise out, it's great. So uh, and then change. Nice and relaxed. And just sink forwards and back. <coughs> Yeah, that's a bit like that one where you turn. Yeah. We will resurrect it. 
We were all resurrected. Now sink back and turn. So this is relevant for the transition bits. This turning movement. So remember, when it's a bank holiday, this we won't be doing anything. I've, I've just decided, even on Zoom, this is places are open, and it'll be mm. tricky for me to find. Uh, and then change, mm. Mm. sink back and turn, sink forward and turn. So I'll just be. Sometimes it's good to. Oh, yeah, we've got. I've got the. Uh, when's the when's the pancakes? That's oh. right, that's the twenty first. Oh, so oh Tuesday okay. next week. Okay. Otherwise I'd have brought some. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Go and get your organic eggs and prospects fast. <clears throat> okay. Nice and relaxed. So let's just open the arms. Just breathe in and out. Do a little bit of cheek on So I did this on Saturday, so lifting water, or I think it was also called raking water, raking water, which, well, <laughs> I think it's to do with what translation you're, mm. you're using, but I suppose like the fingers are like raking through the water, I guess, mm. but I think lifting water feels... Like when it's raking water, mm. there's a kind of dragging sensation, whereas if you're lifting water, it feels different. So I was quite interested about that. If your fingers are wide. It's yeah, your fingers are wide. Your fingers are wide and you're yeah. like, it's like the water's going past each of your fingers yeah. and thumbs. Yeah. yeah. You can feel the air going through, so mm. maybe it's a bit more like that. But you want to keep the arms very soft. So we'll just do do some basics. I'm glad you like the windmill exercise. <laughs> it's I don't know how to do it fast. No, I can't do it fast. He can, but I can't. Practice that one. Yeah. But I think if you just keep practicing it slow over and over again, I'm sure the speed will happen eventually. You know? Okay, now you go to here. And you come down, down, pull in, up. Actually, I'll show you from the diagonal. Open forward, down, sink the hips, pull in, up, down, sink. Keep breathing, very nice. Okay, and then open close. So you start here, you open, close. Open, relax the knees, close. Close. 
So a good section of the form where there's lots of useful transitions is the end of Step Back and Repulse the Monkey to the beginning of Single Whip, actually, which is in the latter half of the first part of the form, the first half of the form. We'll hopefully return to those later. So we did uh, breaking water or lifting water, we did rotating the ball, and we did open and close, just to get the arms nice and relaxed. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. Um, I'm just going to have a sip of water. So the trick with the... What I'll do is I'll demonstrate that dog leg. Mm. Um, that section. And the trick to that is really feeling what the feet are doing. from one thing to the other. So, um, uh, let me see. So when, when you start the form, you're facing front, and then when you're doing the step back and propulse the monkey, you're facing the side wall. So remember when we were looking at front, corners, side, and then we've also got the back. So we've got the back, so we've we'll got the back to you. So, from here, what I'll do is I'll mirror for those of you on Zoom. So I sink forwards, I turn, I hold the ball, and then I'm in left cat stance. Left cat stance. Then I step, heel toe, inspect the horse's mouth, roll back, point fingers to the side, uh, to the back wall, and then sink back, double hand and push. Sink back and turn, push out, gather under, hold the ball. Just so you can see the front of my body when I'm doing this. So I'm using my left, you use your right. Use your right foot, right foot to the side wall. Point. Left cat starts to the corner. 
Then you raise the left leg, move out, step, single whip, and you're facing the side wall. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you can try. I um, I'm just trying to use my brain. I could be quite some time. Um, yeah. Why don't you go over there? It's just otherwise I don't. I mean, normally. Um, I mean, the other way I could do is use the wide angle camera, but then the problem with that is it's got funny lines down the screen and that might make the zoomies feel a bit seasick so um, the, 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 um, the microphone on that very good but it's not it's not that good so let's um, let's just go so left foot but what I'll do is I'll, I'll do that and then you can you can sort of see me a bit easier if I'm facing opposite way and then I'll swap round when it gets confusing. So we just start here. So sink your weight forward, push forward with the hand, turn, hold the ball, and then go into cat stance, left cat stance. So let's do that two more times, just so we got we feel comfortable with it. Uh, Oh, excellent. And, uh, yeah, if, if we'll, we'll try the other camera in a bit. See if that works. So I'll just start from here now, you see that step. Um, oh, sorry. Sink forward. Turn. Hold the ball. Cat starts. Sink down. And we'll think about your posture. Feel your posture. Okay, we'll do that again. Once more with feeling, sit forwards, turn, cat stance. Fantastic, but well, stay there. That's much better, isn't it? When you do things lots of times, it so just works. Good. It just feels better as well. Yeah. It starts feeling Are we doing your whole line of them or something. No, 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 we're just doing that. <laughs> then we step, heel toe, inspect the horse's mouth. So you have your fingers point towards the crease of the wrist, inspect the horse's mouth, and then just turn the palms over, roll back, turn so that your fingers, that's it, point to the side, um, actually slightly more to the, more to the back corner actually, rather than the side, more to the corner, the back corner. When I did this with Mike, he was quite insistent, if I just show that, then they went to the rear corner. Then you turn to the front. So my weight's still in the back foot. Then I sit forward. Double handed push. So that's that other bit. I'm, I'm just going to experiment with this other. <laughs> um, right. It, it's very, very stripy. But I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very stripy, isn't it? But you, you just have to... Yeah, because I need to turn round, you see. Oh, so... So you sink forward. Turn. Three. Four. Step. Roll back. Back corner. Ward off. Sink back. Double hand push, and then you turn. Oh, now this is where our plans get thwarted because then now I'll go push out, gather around the hold the ball, wait there, and I'll, I'll come and <laughs> move this camera. Oh, God, that's so stripy. I might try and turn on another light. No, it's still not got any rid of the strike. <laughs> so we've now... I've now gone... That's too bright. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> oh. oh that's very bright. That's too bright. And it's still striping. I'm turning these... Uh... 
Oh, what a relief. <laughs> so, is it right? Uh, hang on a minute. Yeah, step with the right foot, turn. Inspect the horse's mouth. Um, inspect the horse's mouth, roll back. So, back corner. Ward off, sink back, double handed push. Then you sink back, turn, I'll go over here, I'll turn this round. That's too stripey. I'm going to get rid of the stripiness, it's weird. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> strike free, this is a strike free zone. So we've just come here, just turn. Now we stroke down, you go into cat start, braise the knee, push, single whip. Yeah, great. Yeah, so the, the, the trick is getting the footwork, let me just... Um, Keep your weight in that leg. Keep your weight in that leg. 
that leg, not that leg, that leg. This leg is empty. Empty leg, moving leg. Full leg, stationary leg. Turn the waist, turn the waist. Turn the waist so that it faces the corner. Turn the waist so that it faces the front. Corner, slightly beyond the corner of the leg. Front, corner, slightly beyond the corner of the leg. Front, corner, slightly beyond the um, corner of the leg. So you do the same on the other sides now. So we face front, face the corner, but with a little bit further with the leg, but your weight is in this leg. So you could even do it like this and leave the leg in the air. If you wanted to make sure that you're just using your body to move the leg, use your body to move the leg. Then we relax the arms, relax the arms. So, yeah, so when you're from here, double round you push, you turn, you push out, you gather under, hold the ball. This just comes round. You keep your weight on this leg. Keep your weight on this leg. So when you move that leg, you want to keep your weight, yeah, you want to sink your hips so the weight stays on that leg. Keep, move the leg in the air. That's where you want the weight. That's where you want the weight in that leg. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a natural movement. So you've, you've turned the foot right in, you've transferred the weight, this leg swung round, the knee and toe are pointing to the side walls. And then you step, inspect the horse's mouth, roll back, ward off, down hand push. That's all we're at. And you turn, turn, push out, gather up the whole ball. Let's just make sure I'm facing the correct ways. Right. Oh, with this way, so what I'll do is I'll mirror. So you want your left foot forward, your left foot forward, and we're going to do that little dog leg section. Transfer the weight towards that side wall. Turn, open. That's it. And the arms are in front of the centre line, and you want to make sure you've got a good, yeah, you've got your weight in the front leg. Turn. Hold the ball, cat stance. So everyone should have their left cat stance. Left cat stance. I'm doing right because I'm mirroring. It's where my brain, my, I, I find mirroring tricky. It took me ages to get as a, as a teacher. Step, heel toe. Keep your weight in the back foot. Start again, do it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, Four, five. <laughs> Toe. Now you transfer the weight. Inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back, rear corner. Rear corner. Rear corner. Turn to the front, ward off. Sit back. Double hand push. Sit back. One. Two, turn, bring the hands in, turn, so turn, your left foot in, turn the left foot in, start from here, double hand push, so I'll, um, I'll have to do it not mirroring now, just so, your left foot forward, one sink back, and you're sinking into the back foot, Two, turn the left foot in, turn the left foot in, turn the left foot in, more. Sink down both feet. Three, push out, transfer your weight into your left foot, push out with your right hand. Four, transfer the weight, let the leg swing round. That's it, yeah. And you've got your left hand on top, right hand underneath, holding the ball. Yeah. Okay, watch that last bit. Watch that last bit. So I've just done the um, thumb hand push. I go like this. One, 
two, turn, three, push out, four, gather on the hold the ball. And that just swings well. So you want to make sure there is no weight going in that leg. All the weight is in the left leg. All the weight is in the left leg, no weight in the right leg. So back. So let's just do that bit. I think possibly if we uh, if I go back a bit, then you can't. Oh okay. Yeah, if you sort of stay around there, then you should be able to see me in that peripheral vision. So sink forward, sink into your right foot, point the fingers forward, open the hands, turn the left foot in, but keep your weight in your right foot, sink down with the hands. Transfer the weight into your left foot, push out with your right hand. Then let the right hand come underneath, swing your right leg around, so you're in cat stance. That's it, and then we do, yeah, this works, this works. So that's it, so maybe turn the back foot in a little, well done, or fine. Step, heel, toe. Oh, sorry, I'm not quite in camera shot. Inspect the horse's mouth. You, you know it anyway, you two, so roll back. Back corner, back corner. That's it, turn to the front. So, like that, right hand, that's it, left hand, fingers towards the wrist, fingers towards the wrist of the left hand, that's it, and then you go and roll it off, there we go, and then you sink back, just go back a little bit, double handed push. Now sink back, point the fingers forwards, turn, 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 stroke down. Transfer the weight into the right foot, free up the left foot, and your left cat starts towards that corner, and you're like this. So for those of you watching online, you're like this. And then you lift up the foot, lift up your left foot, parry out of the way, and then single whip. Ooh! And you're facing the side, Walls. So you're, you're, it's the side, 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 side wall. We'll face single whip to the side wall. Or if I show you from there, single whip, side wall. Sides, front, back. Or actually the front will be that way for you. So front, back, side, side. So, side to the left, left side, so we're facing the left side of the room, left hand, and then when we're doing the step of now, mouth, roll back with the right side. So you need to be able to distinguish where you're going. So get your feet in the right place. Get your feet in the right place. So, uh, hmm. ah. it's, it's making a bit more sense, isn't it? Each time we do it. Hmm. So that, that's one of the transition periods is from, yeah. from the end of step back and repulse the monkey to so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show that mirror side, mirror side, so uh, just so you can see what that looks like, and I'll do it a bit quicker, um, and then we'll, we'll do something. So we're like this. So just watch, just watch. So, uh, yeah, demonstration, observe. Notice when I'm facing the front. Notice when I'm facing towards the sides. Notice when I'm facing towards the back. I don't think I do face towards the back in this one. Uh, but there's front, side, side. So you want to be really particular and intentional where you're placing your feet. So I'm facing side. Side, that's the front. Okay, really emphasize it. So there's one, two, and this is the mirror view. So on the right and left are swap round. Three. One, two. One, <coughs> two. One, two. One, two, and three. One, two, I'll briefly go past the front. Now I'm going the other side. Four. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. 
you go into single wick. So that is one of the tricky areas of the first half of the form. And then you go from single wick into weight hands like that, and we're facing the front. front. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so it's just knowing where's the front, where's the side, and then you go back to facing the side. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Uh, the other area where there's tricky bits is from grasp the tiger's ears until um, golden cockerel, until the first of the fair lady works at shuttles. So what I suggest, it's probably best to work on one transitional area at a time in one week and just do the one bit. But what we're going to do next week is look at this area. So I'll just show you. So we've done um, high pat on the horse, block over left leg, kick with right leg, we've kicked with right leg, we've gone into grasp the tiger's ears, and we're going from grasp the tiger's ears into the first of the fair lady works at shuttles, and we're going to do that ad nauseum. But just so you can see, and then it's fair, um, golden cockerel stands on left leg. Step. Golden cockerel stands on right leg. And then first of the fair lady works at shuttles. Oh, sorry, I ran out of. First of the fair lady works at shuttles. That's one area. And then the next sort of transitioning bit is going all round all the four corners mm, mm. and then getting into fan through the back. Mm. So that's another area. So what I like to do these days mm. is rather than just focus on one tiny bit, I'll work on the whole area, mm. but just focus on that area for a bit and then that's more than enough. Yeah. yeah. But it's a bit more solid, isn't it? It's a bit more solid. So, well done everyone. Let's just pause for a quick water break and then we'll come back and do nice bits from the bad one, Jim. Um, we'll, we'll leave that. We might do a little bit just to, because I did a bit of punching and we're just going to, we won't get the pads out because we're too, our brains are too, you know, we're all a bit, uh, so um, we'll just we'll just keep them on the board by practicing the uppercuts and the, the hooks for a bit. Um, but we wanna I wanna do some of the bud one gym first, but let's uh, I did boil the kettle earlier, grab grab yourself some water or, or something hot. We'll just pause for a bit, just let that all relax. <laughs> so but we we're going through what bits of the bud one gym. I didn't record the first bit because that's subject to Subject to change. So, so for the second move, the bend the bow, the shoot the arrow, and then you sink back. And you're like this, and you're like that. If you're, you've got the thumb like that, and you've got the fingers like that, and it's pulling, and you, you sink, and your weight's 50-50, and then you come around. So this is a bit like, if you like cartoons, it's a bit like Wolverine. <laughs> and then you come up in the middle and then you come back oh. we won't do too many of these because it's a bit character building on the old leg bring the leg in come up step out 50-50 ah. yeah so uh, this bit's horrible actually You're trying to get the leg back in again if you do a great big one. So you might want to hedge your bets and have a slightly smaller horse. <laughs> You're doing this off horseback. And then when you bring it, oh, that's much more civilised, isn't it? Mm. Don't step out as much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's much easier. It's much easier to get 50-50 with a teeny horse. Mm. So my uh, miniature pony. <laughs> so you pull that back. I have done versions where you like that with both, but this is the one what I've done with Mark. It's quite cool, isn't it? And then you come back to your middle bit. And then we do the wise owl moves around. So 
So we just turn like that, come back. I think that's probably the fourth movement. The third movement is that fourth one. Is that one, yeah. Well, I'll see if I can. But this is the fourth one. Why is our moves around? Just stick with the first four. There we go. Back to the middle, fantastic. Open, back to the middle. Open, back to the middle. I like the wise owl. Open, back to the middle. And then the, yeah, this one, oh, it went like that. Hmm. And then you turn, turn, come back. Turn, so this is slightly, Different to what Mark does, I will try and find his Blood My June video because it's not public. It's not. It's only available to people that that coughed up and paid him money <laughs> to go <laughs> train with him on Zoom. So that's the third one. That's the third one. And then the fourth one is the wise owl. Yeah, let's get this right. Wise owl, so you just like that. So I think very wise owl-like thoughts. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, we get them here, don't we? Yeah. yeah! Did you hear the owl? There was one, there's yeah. one near here. Yeah. Yeah. We hear it soon when the door goes. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. It's and we'll start that. being a bit of a grumpy girl. It, uh, that, well, it's that time of year when they get a bit grumpy. But, yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, and come back. That's wonderful. Okay, well done. Okay, so, um, and then we've got the the bear. So we come around like that. And then you come back. And then you turn and swing. And then you come back. So that's the first five. Hmm. And then we'll have to remember the others. Remember the others. <laughs> that's not bad. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll leave that transitional section and move on to the next one. So it's basically the popular tricky bits. <laughs> and, and the best way of making them not tricky is just by doing them lots and lots and lots of times until it feels more comfy. Uh, a bit like learning the violin, I guess. You kind of go through these really horrible noises <laughs> for ages and then eventually something nice comes out. It's a bit like that. <laughs> okay, so that, that's some bud watching. Let's just go back to the last... Um, Actually, what is that? I think that clock's a bit slow, isn't it? No, it's five two. Yeah, yeah. it's quite the line. Okay, yeah. let's yeah. just go through those um, qigong movements, yeah. but just have a foot forward. So we'll do what we did before. Go like this one, back down, just so there's a little bit of continuity. So we'll do those exercises but with a foot forward. And then we come down, up, down, in, <clears throat> up, So yeah, transitions and bud one gin actually seems quite a nice little combination yeah. there, I think. So we can we can do that. Because I do like that section. And then we do open, close. Open, close. It's got similar kind of feel to the pigeon spreads its wings actually, this open close. Well Kai Ka is open close in dreadful mandarin. Hi, cut. Okay, let's try that little lock with the other foot forward. So.
So this is fresh from Saturday, this one. So it's really good. Really nice. I mean, if you fancy, it takes about two hours to get to Reading from here. They live at Swallowfield, but it's worth it because they're brilliant. Um, and sort of four hours travel to see someone for three hours. Well, I could have stayed for the whole day and then we do that one, but it's worth it. I got a lot out of training with them. How many were there? Uh, there was only four of us. Yeah, because each one's not exactly a popular art. The, the Tai Chi is better attended. They do, um, they teach Tai Chi on a bit on the Sunday. Mm. Um, so what we're doing, it's quite a sim simple martial art. There's very little to do in it. Mm. And the people seem to have a need to, well some people, for over complex movements. <laughs> Whereas these moves are very straightforward and very simple, which makes them really difficult <laughs> to be able to do. So it's a bit, it, it can get somewhat disheartening. Mm. Nice, okay, that's great. Uh, let's just for we just do this movement but with with raising the, the heel and push down with your toes push down with your toes we just just to keep those those up and we're just going to practice our we're going to practice our hook punch just to get that just a little bit very very soft very soft now use your body to move use your body to move and just do a few of those just to get that get that nicely yeah it's good, isn't it? It makes you feel quite nice. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. So guard up, nice. And think about the posture. Think about posture. And then we go upwards, 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 upwards. Just show you from the side view. There we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are different to how they punch in each one. I might. What I might do is do some of the e-tron punching just so you can try it out. Because the, the, the uppercut in each one is very nice because it's got more of a twist. There's more of a kind of feel and it actually feels quite pleasant. <laughs> we did that on Saturday, the e-tron punching. It's, it's a less practical way of punching though because they don't, they don't bother about the guard so much which I find a little bit... No, potentially dangerous because yeah. you need your guard up. But there are some boxers that don't have a guard because yeah. they just move and use their body movements. But I don't, really, yeah. I don't trust mine that well, yeah. so I'd rather have a guard, you know. But they, when they do the uppercut, it kind of twists. It's more like you're wringing a towel, and this is more like a spiral up, and it's quite. It's quite, yeah, it's quite interesting. So we were, we were looking at that quite extensively on Saturday. It's quite nice. Okay, let's just go back to that one and we better stop because I've got to shoot off. Yeah. <laughs> I better rinse out my, my cups. Okay, just breathe in. Breathe out. That was a nice little session, actually. I quite yeah. like the request. I think what I'll do for the, for this, Monday night session is, is have it as a request hour. So if there's something, but we'll we'll carry on with these transition. The next transitional bit will be the bit from. You've got longer to play with, haven't you? So you can have yeah, and then we can spend more time doing less stuff. Yeah. Um, and just focus. So we're working on because you've got the morning class for just getting really gentle things. And you've got all the health classes for that. And then we go like this, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and out. There we go. But the trick is just to give yourself as much time as you need and as much space as you need to do the moves as correctly as you can. So it's about getting that sense of focus, attention. That's quite tricky. Especially these days. There's, there's a real... Um, Kind of 
can see some rushing about and mm -hmm. doing things sort of last week. And, and, uh, actually, just sitting in a move and doing it over and over again is almost uh, quite tricky these days. <laughs> And then we rub the hands together and we'll go back and rub. Fantastic. Okay. Let's do a couple more just to get that. So yeah, get comfortable. Whatever it is we're doing, you want to get comfy doing it. Um, and just take your time. Take your time. Nice and tall. Really feel the ground under your feet. So it's good solid feeling. Yeah, we were working on solidity last week, weren't we? Really mm -hmm. feeling. Is that feeling better this week? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, it's nice. Fiends classes. Brilliant. Okay, then make a fist with the right hand. Yeah, we didn't do any of that on Saturday. The kind of imagining you've got. Yeah, great. Well done, everyone. That's well done. All right. Uh, so, yeah, good job. We'll carry on with the transitions next week. I'll revise the Bud Mungin over the weekend. Apologies for not having time to do it beforehand, but we'll we'll, we'll have a look. I'll look at some different versions of it as well, um, just to see if there's any particular. So that was great. Okay. Well done, everyone.